Yeah, I can hear you, Pop. Now, how high do we get up? 100 feet. 200? 1 feet. So tell me all about your jobs while I've got you <laughs> captivated in the, the bucket here. Well, I do. I'm, I'm a volunteer in Christiansburg, so. Okay. My main job, I work for the private college of Blacksburg Becom. Okay. That's why I work for my main job. I've been nice. volunteering for Christiansburg for 12 years. Well, thank you for volunteering. I'm an engineer on our department. My dad's been in for a uh, in immediate danger. Okay. There's a lot of things, but it does have its limits, too. Unfortunately, these trucks are so big that sometimes you can't get them in places that you need them. So that, that's where the little trucks, the stick trucks come in handy. We can put that somewhere that this truck can't go. And the stick trucks are the ones that are like it's down like, there? Like that one right there. It's just got a smaller ladder. Oh, okay. It's, it's considered a ladder truck, but it's usually called a stick. And it does it's a smaller, uh, smaller ladder, and it's usually a lot shorter. Like that one's only 75 feet. I think Blacksburg got 75 feet, too. Yeah, and this and stage. this one's just over a hundred, right? Yeah, yeah just over a hundred. Christenberg has one just over a hundred as well. So between the two towns, we have two platforms. So ladders. over a hundred means a ten-story building, maybe, or eight-story? Well, yeah, somewhere around. There. Okay. If you make nine, ten, you'd be right at the roof. But we got we got some buildings that are taller than that, like the courthouse when they caught fire when they were building it. Um, it caught on fire, and our ladder truck barely cleared the top of the parapet wall on top of the courthouse. Out. Wow. And a parapet wall is what you see right there. You see how from the outside that wall looks taller than it really is? Right. They call it a parapet. So one of the things you have to be mindful of if you're using ground ladders is you have to throw a ground ladder high enough to get over the original wall. But then usually if the wall is tall enough, you got to bring another ladder up that ladder to get down. That's interesting. Yeah. So, so I'm just going to look at our I'm gonna look at our gear here a little bit. We've got the safety belt on. And you, so the, this hose is what you're going to attach to the, the big, um, those... Not quite. That's okay. actually what, what we take. For? We could use that if we were using this as a flying hydrant, but we could also just, the reason they're bundled like that is because we can just pick them up and put them on our shoulder. They're called high-rise packs. Okay. And you can just go straight into the building. And then all these buildings have what they call FDCs and standpipes, which is actually just a fire department connection. And they use that for if, instead of just wanting all that hose up a stairwell, yeah. the, ho the fire truck attaches to the building from outside fills the entire building with water and then we can tap off it inside. So that's what we do, something like that. That's brilliant. <laughs> it works. Yeah. That's we've, great. We've had, we've, had to use, uh, well, we've had to use ours a couple of times, but very seldom around here that we have to use them just because we don't have really, really tall buildings that have had, but over at Tech, they, they, they've got more, uh, you know, it's, it's more something that can happen there than, than here. But we've got some of these hotels that you can see are pretty tall. That's, that's what we want a high-rise pack. Wow. Well, I'm going to take some still shots real quick here.